Hello. Good evening, people. Hello. Good evening. Okay, now it's better. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, guys. A mí ella no me puede dar paja. No la culpo de expresarse, de hablar de balazos, de mover toda la gente. Y voy a sacar un lampeo. Y yo soy pobre también y vivo en, 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 en comunidad. Es una colonia, pero son comunidades, son cosas catalogadas así comunidades de riesgo y uno se acostumbra a ver esa violencia, uno aprende a hablar con naturalidad Hola, hola, buenas noches, teacher ¿Qué cosa es? No sé qué cargo tiene él si se le puede llamar cargo pero, si es para no ella si y para la mayoría no sé que vivimos en lugares así, hablar eh, de no ese tipo de violencia con tanta pero no es, no lo es. Y este país está como está, porque no trabajamos para mejorar, porque no nos esforzamos, porque todos queremos en la trompa, porque todos queremos ser millonarios de la noche a la mañana. Hello, 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 hello. Se le escuchó un poco, teacher. Un poco. And now? Hoy sí. Okay. Now, yes. Yes. Now it's better? Yes. And now? Much better. Much better. Okay. Yeah, and it's probably the probably the, the microphone in the the earphones. Okay, good. Now improve, right? Se la escuchó lejos otra vez, Yes, I think it's this. Okay, good. And now? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, then. Yes. No, no, no earphones. Good. Then we have today a simple test, right? We had the presentation.
Here we go. Now we're going to practice the, the past tense of the verbs and the pronunciation of ED. These verbs end in worked, watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a t, d, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn, watch, turn, watch, turn. Watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Land has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H. C H G H T H S S C X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have voice sound L N R G V S W Y Z Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called Cleaned Offered Damaged Loved Used Followed Enjoy, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay. Do you have any questions? How to pronounce these words? Adam's apple. This is called a voice. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example, Visit 
has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has D sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, <laughs> fixed. The following consonants have boys sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website, bokaroo.com. Okay, just uh, important, important one here is the, the verbs that we have. Example, wanted, needed. Then here, remember that this is the E, the letter E is omitted. And then you say helped, helped, helped. Entonces aquí omitimos la E. Se pronuncia más hasta la P and say help. Y luego una T. Helped, looked. Y se hace con las eh, letras. Estas, por ejemplo, ¿cómo se pronuncia esta letra? ¿Cómo se pronuncia y no cómo se llama? P es el nombre, right? P. Ajá, exacto. Vale, exacto. Ajá, and then, pero esto es... Cuando ya le ponemos la A enfrente, diríamos... Ajá, pa, pa. Entonces, aquí lo que están haciendo es el sonido. Pero es que le llaman voiceless, porque cuando ustedes dicen, así cuando estaba en el video decía, no hay vibración acá. Cuando dicen, es F. Decía, brief. No hay, cuando hacemos aquí la L, y la L, aquí sí hay vibración. Lo orena. Entonces aquí ya provoca. Then you say voice. Entonces, voice son que producimos vibración. Y cuando producimos la vibración, entonces pronunciamos que se colga. Offered, damaged, loved, used, followed. La E no suena en Así que no hay en love it, use it. Follow it, enjoy it, amaze it, no. Amazed. 
called la e so walaki out loved no help Used. look followed follow watch follow enjoy it yes enjoy it other words questions <laughs> No volunteer, mm -hmm. no voluntario que pronuncia las out, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed. Yeah. Yeah. No volunteer. Yo. Okay. Helped, looked, looked. watched, looked, looked. Look, watch it. See, like, see, like, watch. Uh -huh. Watch. Okay. Loud, okay. loud. Breath. Kiss it. Kiss it. Kiss it. Kiss it. Danced. Okay. Fixed. And fixed. fixed. Ok, good. Y tú sí, esto le va a requerir de mucha práctica, right? But you say, for example, helped. 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 Watched. Ok. Watched. Yes. Can you please, could you please help me? Can you hear esas nine words? Voiceless. Esas quiere. Voiceless, please. Yes. Okay. Yes. Help. Look. Watch. Wash it. Laugh. Bread. Kiss. Dance. Fix. Fix. Okay. Repeat that again. What well, teacher? This one. Kiss. Kiss. Okay. Kiss. Así que hay que las kissed, breast, laughed, washed, washed, looked, all of them. Good. Nice. Thank you. Carlos. Y las voices. Hola. Yes, ¿Se me escucha? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Thank you. Have, look, watch, watch. Loud, bright, kids, dance, fit. Next. Okay, good. Uh, more, Thomas. Okay. Watch. Uh, just don't help. Uh, watch uh, help watch it what uh, watch hey. watch a uh, loud bright kid then fit thanks okay good It is, it is. Yes. Okay. Pronuncie las palabras acá. The verbs. Help. Help. Look. Watch. Watch. Love. Breast. 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 Is. Dance. Ok, Good. aquí se puede ver una de las diferencias ¿no? que cuando toma el español es que y si la porque estamos en las sílabas para hablar, entonces por eso no se nos dificulta. Dificulta. Okay. Dificulta. Cuatro sílabas. En inglés la cortamos a tres. Difficult. 
y en la última lleva LT al final, cold. Eso no se da en español, que vaya muchas consonantes. Vean esa que dice breath, breath, o laughed. Watched, por ejemplo, watched, lleva tres consonantes en medio. ECH. Ok, y cuando pronunciamos, son cuatro. Watched, porque la, solo pronunciamos la A, la E no se pronuncia. Entonces, sé que el, el inglés necesita, en este caso, más, más práctica en la pronunciación. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, and sexed. Okay. Then we have the other one that is, this is t, t. Helped, looked, washed, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, and The other one is with B. Cold, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Okay, and in the first one, I see lleva un sonido de tip, one tip, needed. Aquellos verbos que terminen en T, como want, o en D, como need. Okay, so you see it's a matter of practice. S H C H G H T H S S C X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped. Looked. Okay, let's help. Washed. Washed. Watched. Watched. Laughed. Laughed. Breathed. Kissed, kissed, danced, danced fixed. fixed. The following consonants have voice sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Cold, clean. Offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Amazing. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay, so here we have the negative form. Okay, uh, let me see now. Uh, yes, here we have. And Jose. Jose, could you please put in the objective here? Okay, teacher. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple pass using irregular verbs. Okay, very good. So then we have positive, negative, and then the simple past using irregular verbs. Yesterday, remember that we were practicing with only regular verbs, right? The ones that we saw in the video here. Hi, everyone. Turn. Turn. Words that are voiceless okay. and all these are regular verbs. Okay, they have a they have a, a, a rule, tienen regla para pronunciar y para escribirse, right? Okay, but in the other case, on the other hand, we have the irregular verbs. 
estos no tienen regla, right? Now, listen to them. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these chart, you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First, we add the subject I. Then we include the verb in the past tense, did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement, laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Plus complement. I didn't do laundry. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so here we have now the affirmative and negative form using the, the, ver the regular verbs, right? Uh, to practice a little bit, we are going to use verbs in past tense. Okay, for example, went. So, uh, another one is a uh, rot. Okay. Uh, went. So, went is the past tense of go. So, see. Rot, right. Is to read 
read is the same. Read is read, read, read. Pero read se escribe lo mismo, se pronuncia diferente en pasado. I read a book. I read a book every day. I read a book yesterday. Okay. Uh, another one is sat. Past tense of sit. Uh, thought. Past tense of think. Okay. Uh, we have also thought. Son similares, pero no. Thought, the past tense of teach. Okay, thought, teach. Thought, thought. Then we have went, so, brought, read, sat, thought, and thought. Okay, we have blow, blue. Blue is the past tense of blow. Blow is when you blow the candles in your birthday. Okay, so blow the velas. Uh, what else? Blue, blow, take, look, speak, hope. Okay, thank you very much. Let's press the chat. Draw. Mm -hmm. Draw. 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 Rain. See, so which one was it? So, oh, yes, yeah. so see, mm -hmm. yeah, and so, yeah, look at them, so. so. Swan. We have men. Mm. Beat. Give. Met, uh huh. Right, yeah. Fly. Strap, which one? Fly. Right, uh huh. Right, yes, yes, that wrote. But if you're going to push it. Uh huh, beat. Yes. Voltear, right? What else? Made. 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 Again, begin, begin. Uh huh. Oh. That's the begin. And cut. Cut. Okay, cut, 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 cut. Okay. And these are the these are the words that we have in the negative and affirmative verbs in the no a a uh, Se nos mete un ruido, ¿verdad? 
Yes, okay, good, thank you. Okay, then uh -huh. drive, drove, driven. Yes, Karen, thank you. Okay, now let's try to make sentences. Okay, la mejor forma de aprenderlos es haciendo oraciones, right? Now, let's make a sentence. Affirmative, one affirmative, one negative. For example, I, yo pongo la media, right? I went, yes, Karen, thank you. Okay, I, I knew my, yeah, let's say I knew my grandfather, but I didn't know my grandmother. Okay, there is an example. I have an example. I knew my grandfather. Yo conocí a mi abuelo, right? But I didn't know my grandmother. Pero no conocí a mi abuelo. And then you can see knew and didn't know. Affirmative and negative. Okay. I... So uh, I saw a deer. Okay, I didn't see a bear. Puede ser otro ejemplo. Yo vi un venado. Yo no vi un oso. I see a deer. I saw a deer. I didn't see a bear. I taught English. I didn't teach French. Is there a bit for me? Uh, let my sister maybe see the dog. Okay, uh, that case is okay. Just a dog bit my sister. I didn't see. I didn't see the dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Ya, ya vi donde me equivoqué. Mm -hmm. Okay, another sentence. I didn't go out on the weekend. I drove last week. Okay, very good. Yes, Karen. I didn't go out on the weekend. I drove last week. Okay, Gabby, do you have a sentence? Or Jacob? Jacob is here too. Sarai. Johanna, you're here. Today I didn't finish my homework. Yes, Jorge, that's correct. 
today I didn't finish my homework. Ah, oh, you have to do it. <laughs> One more, one more. I wrote in my pink book. Uh -huh. I didn't eat fish on Mondays. Okay, good. I wrote in my pink book. What is special with the pink book, Johanna? Is it your diary? My sisters didn't come yesterday. I studied now. So I studied today. Okay. Okay, I'd like them. Any answers, any questions? Any negative sentences? One no more. Okay, I woke up. It's a bit common. I woke up late. this morning. Okay, I woke up late this morning. Yes or no? Or the opposite. I woke up early this morning. I did it in class last night. Okay. Esa pregunta, esa oración, Carlos, creo que es el siguiente tema. Wasn't. Ese es el verbo to be. And then you say, I. Wasn't in class. I wasn't in class. Okay, ese es el pasado del verbo to be, de no estuve. I wasn't in class last night. Okay, thank you. Okay, I got out. Get out. Pasado de salir. I brought lunch. I didn't wash the dish. Okay. Ah, I drove my motorcycle. La oración está bien. Solo que el verbo para motorcycles es road. I road. Drive road. Y el para carros. Drive. Road. Now, remember that here, what we are practicing is the irregular verb, right? But the, the structure for regular or irregular verbs is the same. 
Okay, for example, I walk in the street. And then I didn't then walk and uh, then walk in the park. Okay. Just for you to remember, right? It's the same thing, uh, regular, irregular verbs. The only thing that changes is the form of the verb of activity, right? But I have a structure of affirmative and negative is the same. Okay, now. We have now complete a conversation by using the correct form of the verbs in the past tense. Pay attention to the questions and to the answers. Conversation one, conversation two, conversation three, four. four. Take a look at it. And the next one, we have questions, right? Letter A. B. Okay, here we have. Okay. Next one. Did you have a summer? That is a question, right? Did you have a good summer? Yeah. Yes, I did. I had. Past tense? Had. I had a great summer, irregular verb. I went. I went to the beach a lot. Look. To the beach a lot. The next one, conversation two. Did you go Did you win? last Did you summer? Did you? Did you Go. 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 Pero cuando él es negativo, dice, I didn't go. I didn't go to the movies. Ya usamos didn't go. And in the question, say, go. Okay, so in the question, and in the negative sentence, we use go. But in the affirmative sentence, we say when. Okay, here it says, for example, this one. I went to the beach a lot. Question, did you go to the beach a lot? Negative, I didn't go to the beach a lot. Okay, only in the afternoon. Next one, letter B. Stayed. No, I didn't. I stayed. I stayed. No, I didn't. I stayed here. I got 
a part-time job. So I made some extra money. Yes, the past tense of get. No. Okay, affirmative sentence. Got it. Affirmative. Good. Okay, how about number three? Take, 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 take. take. Yes, the same. Take. The same take. Because we say, did you take? We have the question. Did you take any classes last summer? Yes, I did. Took. I, affirmative sentence, took. I took tennis lessons and I played tennis every day. So we have two. So let's see again. Question did you have? Affirmative sentence I have. Sentence I went. Question. Affirmative. Affirmative I got. Okay, more Correct. No, I did. No, I didn't, but I, I read. read. Okay, read it. In this case, I read. Read. It. read. I read. read it. Solo la presentación va a cambiar. Read. Read. Okay, read, read. 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 Okay. Read. 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 Watched. Read, watched. Read, watch. Okay. Questions about the pronunciation and spelling. la pronunciación y la estructura. Okay. Uh, as remember that in the affirmative sentence, past tense. In the next sentence, usamos el auxiliar didn't. Did it. In the verb, didn't go. In question, did you have, did you go, say, okay. That's why you have to. Okay. 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 When you because by the end of this class you will learn how to ask and answer this question. Simple, just no question. How do you answer a question? Did you did you say did you did you have lunch today? Did you? Did you have lunch today? Then you say affirmative. Yes, I did. Negative. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Let's watch. See what they say. Okay, so look at the file on the microphone for interruptions. Thank you. Here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled 
Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did. Then extra information is given, I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. In our example... Okay, so these are just uh, simple things, right? Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. This is extra information. I had a great summer. Or you can say, no, I didn't. If it is negative. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis or other sport, other sports. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Okay, this is the yes, no question. Did Erica and her 
sister go to Colorado? No, they. Questions in this moment? Okay, I think that we are almost complete. I think it's gonna be in the last one. Ya tenemos el presente, el futuro. Then we have the past tense. Okay, to practice more. Eh, solo nos falta creo que el pasado del verbo to be, but we're going to see it a little bit about tomorrow. Okay. These people. Tomorrow we're going to play a game. Así que preparen preguntas de yes, no questions. El, the game se llama... 20 questions, así, 20 preguntas, en el que uno, eh, yo me puedo cambiar el nombre ahorita, right? Y ustedes tratan de adivinar mi nuevo nombre, pero mi nuevo nombre es de alguien famoso, para que no se les haga difícil, right? For example, then eh, you can ask questions. Eh, for example, uh, where you? Were you a politician? Were you a writer? Were you a soccer player? Did you play in this team? Did you, did you play in El Salvador? Did you play in Mexico? Entonces van a ser yes, no questions. Y yo les voy a decir yes or no. Okay? So as you can ask yes, yes, no questions uh, today. So that you know, we can uh, speak a little bit more about it. And practice verbs in past tense too. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. tienen que soñar en inglés por en pasado. Sí, sí, ya siento que sí, ya porque verbos irregulares. Okay. No voy a soñar en inglés, voy a llorar en inglés. Okay, also, se vale. Okay, good. Okay, people, so have a very good night and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Take care. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.